Hey everyone! Today we're going to talk about HSMs, also known as Hardware Security Modules. Imagine you're starting at a new software company and you're reading some onboarding documentation that says, we use HSMs to validate auth tokens and to encrypt data. You have no idea what this means, so you try to Google it and you get this. Or this. Yeah, it's not great. So let's go over what HSMs actually are and why they're useful. I'm going to assume that you have a high level understanding of what encryption is. If not, you should totally check out my other video about encryption. So to get started, let's take a look at a potential setup for encrypting sensitive information. We're going to use social security numbers or SSNs as an example encrypted thing, but it could be anything sensitive. For those of you not in the United States, SSNs are a government issued ID number generally considered sensitive. In this scenario, the service has the decryption key stored in it, either in a config or in an environment variable. It makes a query to the database for the user's encrypted SSN. The encrypted ciphertext comes back to the service, which then performs decryption on it using the key, and we get the original SSN, which is then returned or used. So this setup works, but it has a couple of weaknesses. First, if the service is compromised, the key is also compromised. Specifically, if a hacker gains access to the machine running your service, they can look for and retrieve the key. Then, they can use that key to decrypt your valuable ciphertext and undo your encryption. Sad times. Another weakness is that there's no audit trail. What's an audit trail? It's a way to log which service is using which key at what time. This is really helpful for security purposes because it allows you to track key usage just like how a security camera can watch who's accessing a safe. So in this setup, you probably have to code the audit trail yourself, and there's a chance the hacker with access to your machine could fool your audit trail. So this is where HSMs come in. It's a piece of hardware whose job it is to store the key and never share it with anybody. So with it, here's what the flow looks like. So the service is no longer storing the key, so it makes a call to the HSM and says, Hey, I have some ciphertext, can you decrypt it for me? And the HSM says, sure, here you go, and gives the results back. So notice importantly again that, that the key never leaves the HSM. What makes HSMs really good at storing keys? First of all, they're built using custom hardware that is significantly harder to exploit compared with the standard computer running your software. A standard computer has a lot of different hardware and software components that each have their own weaknesses. So each of these is generally easier to compromise than a small piece of custom hardware with only one purpose. In security terms, we say that a standard computer has a larger surface area of attack than an HSM. Besides having a low surface area, HSMs also have other ways to prevent hackers from accessing the keys, such as tamper-proofed hardware, so that if a hacker tries to physically take apart the HSM to get the keys, it will erase the keys and be like, I'm useless now. Finally, HSMs can have built-in audit trail functionalities that log all operations being done using the HSM so that you can check to see which services are calling the HSM to perform sensitive operations. As mentioned before, this is like a security camera watching a safe, which is really, really useful. Let's look at the whole flow with the HSM involved. First, the service makes a call to the database to get the encrypted SSN as usual. It then makes another call to the HSM to say, hey, can you please decrypt this ciphertext, which the HSM is able to do with the key that's inside of it, and it returns that plain text. Then the service can do whatever it wants with the plain text. So here's the before and after if you're curious. Also again, if you're curious, encryption using an HSM works similarly to decryption. You give the HSM the plain text and it returns the encrypted data. Again, notice that the key never leaves the HSM. You always tell the HSM to do something for you using the key but you never actually get the key itself. That's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching and feel free to ask follow-up questions in the comments. Thanks again.